Hi, I'm Belle and I identify myself as a woman. I'm Rowena and I also identify myself as a woman. We are here to present to you a short documentary on gender and um, we hope you enjoy what the students of SOAS have to say. We will interview them about their concepts of gender and also issues involving SOAS. Yes, and we truly hope that uh, you can come away from this experience with a new idea of your gender and your sexuality as well. Thank you. I've always defined myself as trans, um, which for me means a, a certain degree of variation from day to day. But I think primary, one day you're male and another day you're female. I, I think the world doesn't do enough. I don't think SOAS is, is um, individual in that. But I, I think, you know, SOAS with the unisex toilets are leading the way. Um, and hopefully that will be taken up more and more. And we'll see um, more improvements in the trans community. Um, okay, so um, I'm an anthropology student. So I think that gender is a complete social construct. Um, it's got a lot to do with the kind of social values and norms that you've bit that kind of permeate into everyone's existence and that is what makes whether you're a man or a woman and has very very little to do with biology. I am a woman. What is it to be a woman? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's got something to do with being female. Good answer. And, uh, I think they could be a good idea. Of course, gender is not completely binary, although most of us fit into one or the other. There are people who perhaps might not feel completely secure going into a particular gender binary toilet. For me, to be a woman, well, generally I just see it as being myself. I am a woman. So I think my womanliness, oh sorry, my womanliness and someone else's womanliness is two different things. But for me, I don't, I don't want to sit here and this is what to be as a woman, this is what to else to be a woman. I don't agree with that. So, for me, me being myself is what's being a woman. I consider myself a woman, yeah, but not before I identify myself in other ways. It's not necessarily the most important way I would define myself. Um, and I certainly wouldn't say that calling myself a woman would cause me to act in a certain way. I'll act how I want to act, and whether it's going to be classified as womanly or not is another matter entirely. Well, I classify myself as a man, um, at least physically. Uh, I guess there's both masculine and feminine aspects which are uh, stereotypes uh, but um, generally yeah I guess I would be a man I've been shaped by society that way and so I'm the result of it in part not necessarily that I'll try and conform to that stereotype but that's that's why I am at the moment I guess I don't gender identify as a man what do you gender identify yourself as? well I haven't figured that out yet but uh, but I'm working on it Maybe just as a human, you know, but um, I have a lot of qualities which people would say were female qualities and those are the ones I like best about myself, but I don't know because I'm a man, so then I don't know if you would call them female qualities, maybe you just call them human qualities. To me being a woman is when you identify yourself as one, because you know, when you look at all the prejudices that are around about, you know, I'm a woman, so I wear high heels, I'm a woman, so I wear my hair like this and I act like that and I speak like this. Really, I mean, that's all really like judgment of other people. I think the only way to identify yourself as who you are as within gender and within everything else is if you see yourself as one. So if you feel like you are a woman, I think that's what you are, really. There's so many more constructs to what a person is than what they yeah. physically are. And what they physically but in terms have. of like the bare minimum, man, woman, I think. Yeah, no, woman, obviously, yeah. but that's like that's like the sexual differentiation between a man and a woman. Yeah, you know what? Like, okay, no, no, no. This is like the basic. Okay, women are stronger physically, mentally, and emotionally. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Biologically, I have a, a willy. I suppose that could make me a man. But sort of, is masculinity defined biologically, or is it defined? mentally, socially, is it a social construct? Um, I don't know I, the answer to that question, but I would identify myself as a man simply because I think I've been told to. <laughs> it is great to be a man. Um, yeah, much better than being a woman, I think, personally. Because well, there's less worries, I think. 
quite controversial, isn't it? Yeah, I think someone can be, you know, um, physically a man and, and mentally a woman, or they can feel that they exhibit like more masculine traits on uh, than feminine, but still define themselves as a, a woman or a man. You know, I think it's quite quite flexible and fluid, really. To take a bit of a line from Bill Bailey, um, identifying yourself as a man is fraught with kind of connotations in the modern world. Lots of like strength and honour and integrity things going on. It's quite can be quite kind of difficult to live up to sometimes. Um, I more self-identify as a, as a bloke or a chap. You know, nice guy, carry stuff, don't get in the way, try and be helpful, stay out of trouble. You know, be nice to people, that kind of thing. Hello, it's us again. Thank you for your time and patience. This is not a conclusion per se. We want you to go home and have a think about what it is to be a man or woman. Let's just say that this is just a starting point. Thank, Thank you. you. What am I saying? I'm going to ask you. Okay, you ask questions. What does it mean to be a man? Yeah, to you. To me. Yeah. Shit. Mm -hmm.